Today we're going to be talking about charging and battery capacity. On February 1st, 2024, I charged to 100% and set off to go all the way down to zero. We're going to talk about that in this video. But do subscribe, share, comment, and like this video, and ring the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload something new. However, before we get started, I have a big favor to ask. My previous video was attacked by another YouTube channel who sent their viewers over to give it a dislike and stop it from being shared. In the first 24 hours, it had over a thousand views, but when it reached 25% dislikes the next day, the YouTube algorithm stopped sharing it. I will not mention the name of that channel. I don't play that kind of game. But if you can, please go give that video a watch and a like. The link is in the description below. Now let's carry on with the video as planned. Hello and welcome to My Bolt EUV. I'm Jim and we're going from point A to point B. So climb in. Let's go. On Thursday of last week, that would have been February 1st, 2024, I let my Bolt EUV charge to 100%, or at least that's what was showing on the app. I drove it to work and back that day, and then the next day on Friday, I drove it up to DeLand to have lunch with friends and back. And then on Sunday, I drove it to Orlando and back home again, then to work on Monday. By this point in time, I was pushing a little over 210 or 215 miles. By the time I got on my way home, on my way back home, by the time I got to the Orlando Utility Commission char uh, charging station there on Robinson Street, lots of DC fast charge stations there. The Chevrolet app was showing 2% uh, and I had used 60.2 kilowatt hours. The car had 244.2 miles on the odometer from 100% and the OBD2 reader indicated that I actually had about 5%. That is regardless of the fact that the, fa the, the lights were flashing telling me Power was reduced, pull over, charge immediately. I was about to have a nightmare. At least that's what the uh, dashboard was indicating to me. But if you base all the math that I just gave you on 65 kilowatt hour batteries, I still have about 63.45 kilowatt hour capacity after almost 30,000 miles. That's about a 2.4% loss. I'm gonna do some more research on that to make sure exactly what uh, the battery useful battery uh, amount is, I think it's a little bit less than 65 kilowatt hours. So I charged at that OUC charger for about 30 minutes and I added 102 miles of range, which is better than the 95 miles in 30 minutes that Chevrolet advertises. So that's something good that came out of this. I have a few additional points that I'll do in a separate part of this video. And I'll give you the full details on those points in that part of the video. I have a few thoughts about the battery capacity and the issues that I saw on this first test. Is the battery actually 65 kilowatt hours? I'm gonna to have to do some more research on that and get back to you. Secondly, is there something wrong with the battery management system? Does the BMS need to be calibrated? And if that is the case, how can you calibrate the battery management system? Well, let's talk about that for just a second. So I think with my next test, I'm going to do a BMS calibration. And to do a good battery management system calibration, there are four steps. First, you drive the car down to a 5% state of charge or less. Then you let the car rest in a deep sleep state for about three hours before you plug it in. Then you charge the car slowly to 100% using a 11.5 kilowatt hour charger or less, minus 7.68, so that'll work out fine. And then finally, when the charge is complete, you unplug the car and let it rest in a deep sleep for three more hours. And your battery management system should be recalibrated at that point. So I'm gonna repeat everything in the 30,000 mile video. I will update in that video all my costs to date, including all the costs for charging. I will update this BMS calibration exercise that I just mentioned, and then I'm going to go over all the good, the bad, and the ugly in my ownership experiences over this past year. It's going to be a lengthy video, probably about 30 minutes, and I should have that completed here within the next two to three weeks. In the meantime, 
Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate your time and trust. And remember, treat everyone with kindness, put a smile on your face, help someone today, and pay it forward when someone does the same for you. Again, thanks for coming by to visit my Bold DUV, and I will see you all again real soon or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody.